Hi guys, today we have a Chanel card holder unboxing. Yay! Okay, so um, if you're familiar with the brand, um, you know this is how they are packaged when you buy them. Uh, of course, it varies from like uh, store boutique to boutique, but uh, generally this is what they look like. All of them I've been to have this ribbon on the holder of the show of the uh, shopping bag so here we go let's untie this i do like to keep everything because when you resell them i, I find a lot easier um, to sell when it's full set so uh, people who are looking to buy pre-loved often are looking for you know a full set so any little thing uh, can help with the resell so don't i mean again it's your personal choice but for me, because they keep their value so well, I do want to make sure um, I keep everything when I can. So it comes with the Chanel um, receipt card holder. So here's the receipt. I got it in um, in Toronto boutique, so in Canada. Again, like I said, the packaging may vary from place to place, but this is generally what they look like. Okay, and often you get two um, Camilla flowers, one on the box and one on your tote bag. So here, when you pull it open, it usually sticks onto the ribbon. Sometimes I like to like just take them off um, and maybe stick onto like a box or something. But anyways, here for now. Okay, and here is a box. This is a small card holder, so it does come with a smaller box. That's another thing I do find. Uh, sometimes the box size, the dust bag even, varies slightly from boutique to boutique. Uh, the sales associates do mix them up. For example, my... So here is the box. Here is the dust bag. Care package. Oh, it's not... Okay, the care packaging, and then there you go. Like I said, dust bag, I do see some of the other YouTubers, they have the flap um, dust bag, but for some reason that's not what I have. So here you go, the caviar, what's beautiful. I think uh, the sticker on here has come off, um, but it's a beautiful caviar leather. Oh, they're just so gorgeous and shiny. And they last forever. So for these like wallet SLGs that you intend to use like on a daily basis, I would really highly recommend caviar leather because, you know, well, especially for me, I'm not a very careful person. So uh, the lambskin wouldn't work for me. Uh, and gold hardware. Just a little flap. Um, there's the same version with a Mona Lisa back pocket but I just didn't really need it um, so here you go you have one slot here which you can probably fit more than one card and then you have like a bigger slot here this one's made in Italy uh, here and you have the authenticity card in here and basically that's all there to it um, Definitely in the middle, middle part, you can probably squeeze in like cash and even like, I know some people use these as key holders too, if you really worry about the inside of your handbag. But I mean, personally, I find it annoying to open it up, squeeze my keys in and then do all that. And you will find your authenticity sticker right here. Um, if you're buying these secondhand, I highly recommend that you try to buy something full set so then you know, um, you know, all these little details, the, the dust bags, the ribbon, the camilla flowers give you a sense of whether the item is genuine or not. Uh, the care package, right? So go for full set if you can. Uh, if you can't, then if they don't have full set, I mean, it's always recommended to have things authenticated, but if you don't have that access to authentication, you know, I, I find full set um, a little bit more reassuring. So that's everything. 
let me know if you want to see more um, you know once I use it for a little while I'll do a um, review video of the card holder and comparison videos to my other card holders like my Louis Vuitton card holder and things like that but I definitely think it would be a very useful item in my collection thanks for watching bye